bacteria or a virus and do not realize that cancer cells are our own cells which suddenly go wild. Despite its microscopic size, every human cell is a universe with hundreds of processes going on inside of it. And every action in the cell is highly regulated. Like in, in a very well organized country, let's say a Scandinavian one. And like suddenly, in steady Norway appears Ravik, cancer cells appear from normal cells. Cancer cells like a racist group, they violate the laws of the country. They do not listen to the external signals to stop growing and divide. They lose family values and dies. And like lonely anarchists detach and migrate to other organs, there they recruit other normal cells to share their values and views. Finally, forming, they become a greedy accumulation of cells which grow uncontrollably and fast. Forming a tumor, they also form new vessels to extract all the nutrients from the body. These crazy cells believe that they deserve more than others, like racists. But who usually stops racism in the country? Police and intelligence services. And you know what? The risk, good news, the reason analog for MI6 in our body it's a protein P53. P53 constantly checks the body, checks the cells, and prevents them from becoming cancerous. And this is actually what we do in Azerbaijan University. We have a project where we use chicken embryo extract to activate defense systems like P53 and reprogram cancer cells to make all the processes go back to normal again. The result of this project can become a new alternative treatment for oncopatients. Actions of cancer cells, like actions of any racism, racist group, is illogic and meaningless, as in the end, it results in death. State dies and tumor dies. Valar Margulis, as they say. <laughs> but as any form of racism, cancer should be stopped. Thank you.